All right, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue part three, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into it. So we're stuck in this house, and I believe we need to find um, a <clears throat> picture thing. We have to jump on these boxes. Yes, we need to find something that falls out of it. Yes, unless we already did that. Yeah, I guess we already have it. I don't see it here. So. Yeah, we must already have it. Okay, so let's get out of here. <clears throat> All right. I hope they make a second one of this game because it's really, really good. All right, so we need to figure out. Oh, my bad. Sorry, people. This guy. <clears throat> there it is. It's written follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language. <clears throat> a succession of zero and ones. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It is probably related to the safe. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltaza. All trace of organic life has disappeared, except for what we call the Zergs. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an con inconceivable rate, <coughs> as if being locked in the city wasn't bad enough. Okay, so I'm going to go to, what's his face, Momo? Where's his house at? We need to go to back to Momo's house. I just need to remember how to get there. Uh, it should be the one with the massive sign. There it is. It's above us. Okay. All right. So on here. There we go. Oh, yes. Alright, so we need to speak to this guy. Only a real Greek can read this. That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine, Zalbator, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you I will always, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Oh, sweet.
Et voila, it works. Come with me. Nice. Up there, see that building? High above the others. If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know. Gained new item. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. I'll do that. Let's get it, man. Alright, so let's get in this bucket. Alright. Rooftops. Okay, now we gotta figure out where to go from here. <clears throat> Oh crap. Oh, run, 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 buddy. Nice. Oh, oh god, there's those robot things. Go. All right. Sweet. We got away. Nicely done. Alright, where to from here? On there. Up there. Remember. The city is full of neon. It always it wasn't always this way. There used to be strict enemy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One one day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not after long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. It was a way for people to see colours again, like on the outside. I think it was I think it helped. All right, cool. All right, where to from here, man? Can we jump over there? I think you can make it. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a little unsure where to go from here. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Something to do with this, maybe? Yeah, it looks like we have to jump up there. Oh, a little kitty cat. Onto there. Onto there. Oh crap. Oh my god, run. Run, run, buddy. Yeah. Things are gross, huh? How smart him though, we did good. Creep 
creatures couldn't get us this time, could they? Alright, we're going to go up. I think we're going across here. Yes. This is the way to go, I think. Looks like we go for that pipe over there. See that little duct? Yes, that's where we're going. The only way is up. Go on, knock that down. Nicely done. Through here. Ooh, what's this? This looks kind of tricky. Oh no. Come here, those are there. Crap, go! Oh crap, it's right on me. Run, buddy! We did good, we did good. Down here, anything? Memory? Nico Corp. They were responsible for waste management. A trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums. They tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have the Zerks. Let's go! Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Okay, we have to get up there, looks like. We're gonna have to open this and then use that barrel. So have them run after us. Oh shit! No, no, no! Okay, I know, I know how we screwed up. Okay, so we need to leave the door open and roll the barrel. Okay, something like that. And try not to get killed. Alright, so we're back where we were. Alright, so let's do that again. So hack the door. Have them run after us. Oh, it didn't work. Now it worked. Go, go, go. There we go. That worked. Got him good. Oh no, there's more of them. Oh no, no! Oh, those things are awful. Alright, here we go. Scary little spuds. Alright, what we got here? It's like a little tunnel. Trying to figure this out, people. Where to go? Uh, no idea. Maybe I have to drop down there. Hold on a minute. There's a power supply over here. Yes, yes, yes. This right here. This. Yes. Let's drop that down. Shit. Already after me, huh?
So we have to got to get down there. Jump down! Oh no, no, no! I, I don't even know how to get down there. Jump, buddy, jump! He won't jump, he won't! Oh no, no, no! Get off me! Oh, right here, right here! Go! Oh, they're like lashed onto the cage! I'm getting like flashbacks of Metal Gear Solid. What a brilliant game. They should make a remake of Metal Gear Solid. I would definitely buy it. Ah, right, here we go. Get some a drink real quick. Alright. Can we... How do we... Oh. Looks like this. Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. Nice. Here we go. Did that pretty nicely. Nice. Yes. Look, the view is beautiful from here. I remember now the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those looks like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Himakai built this shelf to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Uh, unless you're a survivor. But if you come, uh, come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open a city. Okay. It's still do I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I, I have to open a city. Okay. Let's go back and find Momo. Now that we connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Gotcha. Alright. There's a little cruise in the bucket. Where's Mr. Momo at? Look, a note. <clears throat> Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent! I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Oh my god, that's crazy. Be careful, it's case and do. See you there at the bar. That must be the code for the window for the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Mm, it has an H, I think. Which my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Then it was an O. Let's see. A success. It worked! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Alright, the bar, huh? So we need to go down. 
I would assume the bar is on the ground somewhere. Down, buddy, down. Alright. Come on, what is it? The animation isn't working very well. Got some lag to it. Okay, so we need to find a bar. Or is it like a dead end? I'm cleaning the porch for my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Huh. What is this? Surgery? Okay, I don't think that's the bar. Maybe it's the bar. Maybe that's it in front of us. No, that's not the bar. Uh huh. The bar, bar, bar. Translate. Bar to man. Oh, here it is. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Cool. Cool. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Cool music, man. Skim. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out. Wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? Momo. Pshh. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Baltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, pshh, we are safe. Pshh. We found a way up. Pshh. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Pshh. Very dangerous. Pshh. Zerks everywhere. So, so, so us? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zaltavar is alive. And the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But if Zaltavar, or Zab Zalpazar, whatever his name is, made it there, there must be a way. Question marks. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Any, anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Hum Simbus. <coughs> His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. It must be somewhere he was working on. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me.
No urgency at all, this guy. Super chill. Zerk's only going to destroy the planet, but we're just walking. <laughs> He just walks right through his mess. Momo doesn't give a rip. Come on, Simus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted us to help. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. Aha. Uh -huh. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to a Seamus. Gained item. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find a secret lab like Outsider. I'm going to go back to the bar to try to re-establish communication with the others. Alright, we will do. Show item. A hey, music sheet. I don't play any instrument. I'm sorry. Wait, what? what's this? Wait. Is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat. But where? It's very old binary code. Alright. A secret lab running through for our nose. Maybe there's something underneath the picture. Like a switch or something. Oh, yeah, look at this keypad. I don't know the digi code. Huh. Look, another picture. Oh, there's a code. Translate. Time will tell. It has to be do something to do with that code. I noticed that digi code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Maybe, maybe there's a password around here somewhere. Oh, look at that crazy looking cat. Translate. Music sheets. It's written follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary code, a succession of zeros and ones. You must be able to decipher this code in another way. It is possibly related to this safe. Let's try it. Zero is a one, yeah? We don't have zero though. Ah. Okay, and I think I'm going to end it here. Um, and I'm going to try and be back on for part four tomorrow. But I think this this is a good place to end it. We're we are on the code, ready to open up a secret vent or a secret door to a lab, so that we can figure out the scientist's weapon to use against the Zerks to help <laughs> uh, save the world. All right, see you guys later on. If you guys are new, subscribe. Make sure you smash that like if you if you haven't already done so, and please leave a comment below what you guys think about this game yet so far. Thank you guys for showing up, and I'll see you in the next one for part four. Later, people.